friend of yours stopped by. Who? Stan. The guy you said hit on you at Rody's. Now, he swears he's your old boss and that you stole a pile of money from him. Any of that ring a bell? You said you didn't know the guy. Remember? He was just some random creep coming on to you. But you know him, don't you? Okay, Rex, look. I mean, it, it's not that simple. You lied to me. Why? Stacy about knowing this guy Stan before seeing him at Rody's. And he swears you stole a pile of cash from him. I love finding that out about somebody I'd let stay here. You can either explain this or you can pack your okay, stuff. Okay, you get okay, Rex, all right? I admit it, I lied. I lied about everything. Wait, don't get so freaked out about this. Well, why the hell not? You stole 20 grand from the guy and lied about it. You told me you were broke, which is one of the main reasons I let you stay here. And I totally appreciate it. You have a messed up way of showing it. Some lowlife shows up at my door demanding money or else. My son could have been here. Okay, just listen to me, all right? I didn't steal money from that loser Stan. I, I just took back what was rightfully mine. Not according to him. Yeah, well, he thinks whatever is someone else's is his. I don't get it. He's my old boss from Vegas. And that's the truth, so if you don't believe me, you can give me a lie detector test. Go on. My so-called boss treated us like dirt. Stole our tips, even took a cut off our paycheck, and told us he would fire us. We ratted him out, and he'd make sure we weren't hired anywhere else. So I kept record of it, and that little creep took $20,000 of mine. So you figured you'd even the score? Damn right. When I decided I was leaving Vegas, there's no way I was leaving because I want like 20 grand. That's not the way I operate. I don't let go of what's mine without a fight. You do believe me, don't you? Sure. Sure, I do. I I get it. I grew up around guys like Stan. You know, I, I would tell people that I used to be an exotic dancer. Hell, I even told myself that. But the truth is, I was just shaking my ass for a bunch of creeps. I'd come off the stage and there would be Stan with his hand out. A guy like that, you gotta cut off the past. Wait, what are you doing? I'm calling Bob Buchanan. The police commissioner? He is my best friend. He will tell us the best way to handle this. No! No, no cops. Yes, cops. This guy Stan is no joke, okay? He's not gonna let it go until he catches up with you. Look, I can handle him. He thinks you ripped him off for 20 grand. He's dangerous. Stacy. Yeah, I know he is, but he's also connected. If you call the cops, he's not only going to be mad at me, he's going to be mad at you, and he might even use your mom or Shane oh, 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 All right, all right, all right. I see where you're going. Thank you. So, we give him back the money. I don't have the money. None of it? Then just shut up and listen. If you're not down here with my money by the time I'm arraigned, then your little friend Rex is going to find out you didn't really save his son. Stacy, what happened to the money? It, it was stolen. Somebody ripped off 20 grand from you and you didn't tell me? I, I was afraid you'd get mad and do something crazy. Just tell me what happened. Okay. I had the money, all of it, when I was living with Skye, and now I don't. So he took it? Yeah, but I don't have any proof. I just know that one day it wasn't there and the next day he kicked me out. Can we get it back from him? He probably spent it already. <laughs> That's a lot of money. Not when you have a drug problem. He does. He did. It was a pretty big one, too. It wasn't just recreational. Maybe he had a relapse. I mean, he did get fired from his teaching job. He tell you why? Inappropriate contact with a student. How could you stand this guy? I can't, but I can't go after him. I, I don't have any proof, but even if I did, I'd still have to hand over the money to Stan. I mean, $20,000 would be such a buzzkill. Yeah, you're telling me. If I don't get that money to him, he said he's going to rearrange my face. Okay, now we get the cops. Rex, no, please. He threatened you. What about Shane? If you call the cops, he's just going to come after the both of you. 
then there's only one thing I can do. I gotta get my hands on 20 grand. But you don't have that kind of money. Don't worry about it. I'll get it. Thank you.